The 2023 Larry D. and Brenda A. Thompson Award honoree is renowned painter Stephanie Jackson. Throughout her career, Stephanie Jackson has made significant contributions to the African American visual arts through her distinct allegorical paintings. Jackson is especially known for her Afro surrealist style. Her expressionist, dreamlike compositions encourage viewers to reconsider the past through her figurative storytelling. Stephanie Jackson was born and raised in Detroit, Michigan during the height of Motown and the Civil Rights Movement. During her childhood in the 1960s, she would often visit the Detroit Institute of Arts and became enthralled with the works in their collection. Jackson's love for art continued to grow when she attended Cass Technical High School, a magnet school that fueled her growing interest in the arts. After graduating from Cass Tech, Stephanie Jackson moved to New York City to attend Parsons School of Design at the New School, where she would receive her Bachelor of Fine Arts in 1979. Although she was originally trained in drawing and illustration, her talent for painting grew under the mentorship of great artists such as Carrie James Marshall. It was during her time living in New York that a visit to the old location for the Studio Museum of Harlem inspired her to seek a career as a full-time artist. Jackson continued to live in New York for many years before eventually being drawn to the energetic, jazz-fueled city of New Orleans. Her time in New Orleans further developed her vibrant and poignant artistic style. As seen in her painting, Octoroon Ball, Jackson's work from this period combines the lively themes of the city with the complicated color politics and colonial history embedded within its culture. Stephanie Jackson left New Orleans in the late 1980s to attend Cornell University, where she received her master's degree of fine arts in 1988. It was after this that Jackson was offered a position at UGA's Lamar Dodd School of Art, beginning her long and impactful career as an art educator. During her time in Athens, Stephanie Jackson continued to create compositions that were filled with magic realism and often inspired by black Southern writers and musicians. Jackson quotes her experience moving around, saying that growing up in Detroit, moving to New York, New Orleans, and now Georgia, I have experienced the great migration in reverse. As Langston would say, I've known rivers. Literature, music, and theater are perhaps some of the most important influences to Jackson's art. Her works often have a theatrical quality to them. The compositions have a set design-like appearance, and iconic black musicians such as Nina Simone, Billie Holiday, Stevie Wonder, and Louis Armstrong are typically cast as characters for her paintings, along with close family members. Jackson's paintings repeat different motifs, such as snakes, dolls, and dismemberment to create layers of symbolism and meaning both to the image and to the African-American experience. Stephanie Jackson is not just a great artist, she is a great storyteller. Throughout her expansive career, Jackson's expressionist figures embody an Afro-futuristic dialogue that speculates reimagined versions of the past. They encourage introspective viewing and portray both the beauty and the trauma of African American life. Her talent has been recognized by galleries and museums across the country, including the David C. Driscoll Center Gallery, the Detroit Institute of Arts, the Robert and Sally Brown Museum at the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill, and of course, the Georgia Museum of Art. Jackson's 1999 painting, Bluest Eye, is currently on view upstairs in the Knox Gallery. Based on the novel by Toni Morrison, Jackson uses juxtaposing elements of color and figurative form to examine the impact of racist beauty standards on young African-American girls. For both her talent and her artistic advocacy, Stephanie Jackson has received numerous grants and awards such as those from the Paula Krasner Foundation, the National Endowment for the Arts, the Adolph and Esther Gottlieb Foundation Award, and of course, the Larry D. and Brenda A. Thompson Award. While her works embody a sublime, surrealist landscape, they are grounded in real lived experiences. Her compelling forms suggest both loss and love. When I paint, I remember the past, envisioning the beauty and terror my people have endured. I see my work as an extension of the blues, imagining the joy and the sorrow displayed for all to see.